People looking to beat new gun regulations are stocking up. It was a packed house at this gun show in Green Bay today, a site that's becoming a common one around the country as lawmakers talk tougher gun legislation after the Connecticut school shooting. NBC 26's Deandra Corinthios joins us live at 5 with more. Cassandra, the gun show in Green Bay run by the Nicolet Rifle Association or Rifle Club, excuse me, happens every year. But this year it's different with gun control being a hot button topic in Washington. This gun show is seeing bigger crowds. Hundreds at this gun show in Green Bay, some buying, some selling and some just looking. But for many gun enthusiasts like Ross Goldbeck, the mood feels a little different. I think there is a fear that certain things are going to become unavailable. Jeff Nass is a gun advocate with Wisconsin Force. He says that fear is driving up gun and ammunition sales in Wisconsin and across the country. They're selling more guns and ammunition than they ever had. The FBI's statistics on background checks is phenomenal. In fact, according to the FBI database, there were 2,783,000 765 background checks in December, the month of the Sandy Hook shooting. That's about 600,000 more than the average for 2012 and 1.3 million more than the same time the year before. A rush to buy sparked by the recent proposals to change gun laws. Here's U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein on CNN's State of the Union today on the Sandy Hook shooting. Does government have an obligation to, to protect those children? I believe we do. But people at this Green Bay gun show not happy about tougher laws. I don't think that a legal gun owner should have to pay the price for someone else's mistakes. It's a debate underway in Washington, D.C., reaching people in Northeast Wisconsin. Now, just this past week, a bill to ban assault weapons and high capacity ammunition clips was put on the table, but no major gun legislation has made it through Congress in the last two decades because of opposition from the NRA. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.